Is there any further business to come before the meeting at this time? Madam Chairman. Landon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I move that our chapter send our newly elected president and our star green hand to attend the 2021 National FFA Convention. Second. Is there a problem moved and seconded that our chapter send our newly elected president and our star green hand to attend the 2021 National FFA Convention? Is there any debate? Madam Chairman. Landon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I am in favor of this motion, seeing that just getting our new officer team in, these people have shown dedication to this organization. And I think sending them across the country to the national convention will just gain their experience that they can bring back and support the chapter. So please vote yes in the motion. Madam Chairman. Ryan. Madam Chairman, I am not in favor of this motion. I believe that um, with the funds it will take to uh, make this trip possible, it's just too sudden, and uh, this coming up right now is not the right time. So please fill this moment. Madam Chairman. Mackenzie. They're considering um, the National FFA Convention is in a completely different state, so we do not have the funds nor the people that can accompany um, these students that we would be sending. So against this. Madam Chairman. Sorry. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I'm in favor of this motion for the fact that I think that our president and our green hands would be, this would be an opportunity for them to get along and get to know each other. And that is what the president's supposed to do, get along with our freshmen. Thank you. Vote yes. Madam Chairman. Cheyenne. Madam Chairman, I am not in favor for this motion, seeing as I believe it would not be uh, well used of our money and our uh, sources to send our star green hand, who has many other uh, conferences that they can go to to start learning a lot of these skills. I believe that it would be wise to send our president, but as it would be also sending our star green hand, I'm not in favor of this motion. Madam Chairman. Madam Chairman. Cheyenne. Madam Chairman, I move to divide the question so that we consider separately. I move that our chapters and our newly elected president to the 2020 20, or the 2021 National FFA Convention, and I move that our chapter send our newly elected or our new star green hand to attend the 2021 National FFA Convention. Is it? Is it improper move and seconded that we divide the question by considering separately? I move that our chapter send our newly elected president and uh oh oh to the to attend the 2021 National FFA convention and I move that our chapter send our new our star green hand to attend the 2021 National FFA convention. Are there any amendments? Seeing none, we shall proceed to a vote. Also in favor of dividing the question by so that we consider separately, I move that our chapter send our newly elected president to the to, to attend the 2021 National FFA Convention, and I move that our chapter send our newly elected star our star green hand to attend the 2021 National Convention. Signify by saying aye. All of those opposed, same say, say no. No. Noes have it. Motion fails. Is there any further discussion on the main motion? Madam Chairman. Ryan. I move to postpone this matter indefinitely. Second. Is it improper moving second that we postpone this matter indefinitely? Is there any debate? Madam Chairman. Madam Chairman. Ryan. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I am in favor of this postponement. I believe that we just um, decide to kill this motion now, then it will save all of our funds and not have to make us even think about wasting any money on such a hard event to uh, get to. So please pass this postponement. Madam Chairman. Madam Chairman. Mackenzie. I'm not in favor of this postponement indefinitely because I feel that this main motion does have merits and I think that we should be able to discuss this and either pass or fail the motion during this meeting. Vote against this. Madam Chairman. Landon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I am not in, in favor of this postponement indefinitely, seeing that we are going to be able to teach these kids leadership and give them an opportunity of a lifetime, an opportunity that many people will not ever get to witness. And I think it is a big trip and we want to make sure that we have plenty of time. So taking care of that business now is going to be better than just completely blowing it off. So please vote no on the postponement. Madam Chairman. Sorry. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I'm not in favor of this motion for the fact that not only is this a good opportunity to start talking about this, but now our advisors are clearing up their schedule and not only would be able to attend this, but we also have a green hand team that would be able to go. Vote no on this motion. Madam Chairman. Cheyenne. 
Madam Chairman, I am not in favor. Or I am in favor of the postpone, or I'm not in favor of the postpone indefinitely. Seeing as I still believe that we should discuss more and maybe improve upon our main motion and maybe edit it in certain ways to get more people behind it. I still believe that in some rights it does have merits, but as of right now, I cannot vote in favor of it. But I still believe we should keep discussing it. So please do not vote in favor of the postpone indefinitely. Madam Chairman, Sorry. I move the previous question. Is there a second? second. Is it improper to and second that we move to the previous question? All those in favor of moving to the previous question signify by raising your hand. All those opposed, same side. With five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, motion passes, two thirds vote. Motion now proceed to vote on postpone indefinitely. All those in favor of postponing this matter indefinitely signify by saying aye. aye. All of those opposed say no. No. No, no. have it, motion fails. Is there any further discussion on the main motion? Madam Chairman. Cheyenne. Madam Chairman, I would just like to state that I have changed my opinion, and I'm now in favor of this main motion, seeing as I believe that it would be an, offer, uh, an amazing opportunity for all these uh, students, and I believe that it would be even better experience for them to be going together instead of just one lone member from Medicaid Heritage Center. So please vote in favor of this main motion. Madam Chairman. Sorry. I move to amend this motion by striking out 2021 and inserting 2022. So if passed, would read, I move that our chapter send our newly elected president and our star green hand to attend the 2022 National FFA Convention. Second. Second. It's been properly been seconded that we amend the main motion by striking out 2021 and inserting 2022. So the if passed would read, I move that our chapter send our newly elected president and our star green hand to attend the 2022 National FFA Convention. Is there any debate? Madam Chairman. Sorry. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I'm in favor of this amendment because not only does it make more sense to pay our 2022 newly elected president and star green hand, but this gives us the opportunity to plan out anything if we need to. Vote yes on this amendment. Madam Chairman. Uh, Landon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I am in favor of this amendment, seeing that we are able, with uh, an entire year, we can make fundraisers specifically for this trip, making sure that we will be able to send those students to the convention and not have to worry about budgets as much. So we can fundraise. So please uh, vote in favor of the amendment. Madam Chair. Ryan. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I am in favor of this amendment. I believe by giving us another year, um, this will give the world a little more time to open up uh, due to COVID restrictions. And maybe this event will be even bigger and a bigger welcome back for all of our members. Uh, please pass this amendment. Madam Chairman. Mackenzie. I feel like if we push this off to the um, 2022 school year, this will not only give us more time um, to be able to put this into our schedule, but also to see how um, the CDC guidelines would be requiring, um, allowing us to be able to gather in such convention places, and if it can even be held in person. Vote for this amendment. Madam Chairman. Cheyenne. Madam Chairman, I'm actually in favor of this amendment because it gives our advisors enough time to discuss and figure out which advisor would actually like to attend the national uh, FFA convention. And it'll give right our school district heads and see if they would even be allowing to send two current students. Is there any further debate? Parliamentary for Madam Chairman. State your inquiry. What is the vote for the amendment? It is a majority vote. Is there any further debate? Seeing no motion, I proceed to vote. Also in favor of amending the main motion by striking out 2021 and inserting 2022 so that if passed would read, I move that our chapter send our newly elected president and our star green hand to attend the 2022 National FFA Convention signify by saying aye. 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 All those aye. opposed say no. Ayes have it, motion passes. Is there any further discussion on the newly amended main motion? Question of privilege, Madam Chairman. State your question. Seeing as it's getting rather warm out here, may I remove my jacket? Seeing as it's a contest setting, I must deny your request. Madam Chairman. Ryan. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I would just like to now uh, state that I am in favor of this main motion now that it's been pushed out the next year by giving us the time that we will be, we'll be able to make this um, event much more possible with our new members and new CDC guidelines. Please pass this one. Madam Chairman. Cheyenne. I move to expand the limits of, or I move to extend the limits of debate to three debates per member promotion. Second. It's improper and second that we extend the limits of debate to three debates per member per motion. Are there any amendments? Seeing none, we shall proceed to vote. All those in favor of extending the limit of debates to three debates per member per motion signify by raising your hand. All those opposed, same sign. With one affirmative, four in the negative, motion fails, two thirds vote. Is there any further dis discussion on the main motion? Madam Chairman. Sorry. 
Thank you, Madam Chairman. I would like to say that I'm in favor of this newly amended motion for the fact that this would give us the chance to pick which green hand and if we want the old green hand officer team of this year or the new ones from the next year. Thank you. Vote yes. Madam Chairman. Landon. Thank you, Madam Chairman. I just want to say that I am in favor of this motion, especially with the amendment. We're going to have plenty of time to fundraise, plenty of time to schedule, and it's going to be a great experience for our members. So please vote yes on the main motion. Madam Chairman. McKenzie. I feel that if we put this as one of the events that um, our newly elected president and our green hands will get to do, I feel that that will encourage more students to actually run for those positions in our chapter. Vote for this motion. Is there any further debate? Seeing none, we shall proceed to the vote. All those in favor of our chapter uh, send it. All those in favor of, I move that our chapter send our newly elected president and our star green hand to attend the 2022 National FFA Convention, signify by saying aye. 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 All of those opposed say, say no. Eyes have it, motion passes. Is there any further discussion? Madam Chairman. Landon. I move to adjourn this meeting. Is second. It, it's been properly the second that we adjourn this meeting. Are there any objections? Seeing none, meeting adjourned. All right, nice job, everyone. We're gonna start with uh, the chairperson. Name one motion from each of the following classes of motions that can be made as an incidental main motion. Privileged, subsidiary, and incidental. Okay, um, so privileged motion that become, can become an incidental main motion. Um, fix the time to which to adjourn. A subsidiary one would be limit or extend the limits of debate. And a incidental motion would be um, an incidental one would be appeal. Chair one, you have the division of the question. This is a two part question. Name two motions that can be applied to a division of the question alone. Amend is one that you can apply to a division of the question alone. question. In the second part, what is the purpose of applying the previous question to the motion division of the question? So that if anyone wants to bring up any kind of debate or tries to debate, we can go straight into a vote on the division of the question so that if we do want to divide the question, uh, we can go straight into voting so that there's not a lot of debate. Thank you. you. Yes. Parliamentary strategists sometimes use the motion to postpone indefinitely in special ways. Name three specialty purposes of the motion to postpone indefinitely. Chair sure, two, you're on mute, but switch to the question. Sorry, I I'm that's okay. Parliamentary strategists sometimes use the motion to postpone indefinitely in special ways. Name three specialty purposes of the motion to postpone indefinitely. Um, three specialty, uh, three special ways to postpone a matter indefinitely would be to. Um, to kill a matter for them just not not um lacking merit of the motion um 
and I'm sorry, I can't say any more. Okay, thank you. Chair three. If 60, <laughs> sorry, if 60 total votes are cast on a motion to object to the consideration of the question, how many must be cast in favor of considering the question for it to be considered? Um, I believe that would be a two thirds vote. Okay, thank you. Chair four, Ms. Questioner. The vote on a motion for the previous question can be reconsidered, but only for a short time interval. Explain this time interval for an affirmative vote on the previous question. May you repeat the question? The vote on a motion for the previous question can be reconsidered, but only for a short time interval. Explain this time interval for an affirmative vote on the previous question. The time which a previous question can still be reconsidered, the amount of time would be between the time that it was said, announced the vote, and before the chairman takes control of the meeting. Thank you. And then chair five. Yes, we have a question there. If a motion to adjourn is adopted and the chair has declared the meeting adjourned, can the motion be reconsidered? No, it cannot. And can you explain your answer? It cannot be adjourned being that the motion was already made. It was passed so that that meeting is already going to be completely done unless um, it fixed the time to which to adjourn was, was made, which you can pick up that meeting later on, but it cannot be reconsidered at that very time. Thank you. 